One of the societal issues that I first started reading about when I was trying to figure out what's going on with our young people, what, like the way they're growing up, like what's changed, what's different. One of the first ideas I landed on was by this sociologist named Peter Gray. And he had all these papers on the concept of free play. And I'm sure many of you out there maybe have heard of the concept of free play or, or a tangential name for it. But free play basically just means any play unregulated by adults that our kids are engaging in. And you know, I grew up in the 90s, and that looked a lot to me like riding around on my bike at all hours, not all hours, my, you know, my mom wouldn't be happy I said that, but like, at, like up until dinner time where you're playing capture the flag with kids in the neighborhood, you're setting up pickup games, and so they're all of this free play. And, and Peter Gray, the sociologist, noticed that free play in the US over the last 25 years has been steadily decreasing. And almost inversely, anxiety has been increasing. And now no one can say for sure, right, like, as free play decreases, anxiety increases, right? It's just sort of, let's pay attention to this, because these two things seem like they're somehow related. And that was definitely true of Maddie's childhood, that there were soccer cones and soccer practice run by adults from second grade and that there wasn't a ton of just in the neighborhood with friends. And when, I, when the way you know, this Peter Gray explains it and the way I think of it so much is that my childhood, I remember so clearly all of these games of capture the flag. And I remember like, not getting picked for the team, right? Or being the last one or you know, falling in the process of it and maybe, getting, maybe having to decide whether I was too embarrassed to keep playing. Or, so there, there are all these moments wrapped up in free play that are these first chances for our kids to decide how to like, self-soothe, how, like, how to fail in these small micro experiences that is the first idea of like, OK, I was picked last. Do I go home or do I play? OK, I, you know, not that I'm encouraging bullying or anything, but like someone picked on me. How do I respond? These are things that there's no adult around to say you know, that's wrong. It's just how, how are our kids going to respond in these measures in, during, during these endeavors? And I think when I talk to so many you know, college coaches or professors or people working with kids, there's a question of, well, these, the kids that are coming into my program, whether it's sports or a school, they don't have the same level of resiliency. That's something you hear all the time. Like, and it's easy to assume that that's a failing with the kid. <laughs> this like, inability to fail, and this lack of resiliency. And it, this is the water in which they're swimming. They have not had these small opportunities that add up to something bigger. And that was so clear of Maddie, because I, when, even if you looked at her running, when she, in a track and field meet, if she, you know, it wasn't even like she failed, but if she came in second or her time wasn't a PR, she, you know, at that point, she's 16 or 17. She doesn't have all these micro failures to build up on. And she'd have to like, leave the meet early. You know? She'd have to be like, I can't stay around and watch my teammates. I'm just going. You know, it was like she couldn't. She didn't know how to deal with anything that didn't feel like a steady progress forward, that she was getting better. So free play is this cultural concept. And I feel like I have to hammer this point home again. I'm not suggesting it led to Maddie, the outcome, right? It's just one small piece that when she got to Penn and things were harder or like her running, you know, the places that she would finish in cross country, she's finishing 211th out of 500 college runners instead of one, first out of 20 high school runners. Like there's this idea of failure and how to manage that I don't think that she had intrinsically reached a point to be able to.